Hello guys, this is Blitzo, I'm back with you with some more Pokemon Hard Gold and Soul Silver. Last time I left you here in kind of a rush because I needed to do some something, but I'm continuing. Last time we beat all these Bellsprout trainers, and now we need to face the Elder, so let's go. There's the gangsta. Whoa, wait. Yeah, there's the sound. Ginger. Your Pokemon's nice, you beat us, etc. Take this TM. He's being too harsh on his Pokemons. Oh, I'm gonna take him down. Yes, they are not tools. Huh. He calls himself Deadlier, but he has no match for me. Sure enough, there's a lecture how we should be nice to Pokemon. They cannot defeat me. All I care about is our strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. Kingsley is an escape rope. Yeah, we're gonna do that after the battle. I think he's an idiot because he said he only likes Pokemon which always win. So technically his Totodile in the first battle didn't win against me. So kind of that makes him in disadvantage. And he's an idiot. And we, he's gonna test us again. Remember the last guy, he kind of tested us. So he just wasting his time. This is elderly. How funny, you have our elderly. He has a level seven bell sprout. Let's use Ember. And KO this thing. Yes, it's super effective. Wait guys, gonna get my new camera set up. Simply hate it. Yes, and we're up to level 12. No new moves or anything. And the heat hoots are back. Let's go to our Marie. Which, if you didn't see the last episode, I'm not using this on my team. I'm just using this to get a backup for. Faulkner, yes, he's the next gym leader of this town. And he's the first gym leader. Let's go with him. And it barely does crap. And he's pecking me. Yay. And another shot. Thunder shot will take him out. I don't like Pokemon on who get experience, which are which I am not gonna use on my team or anything, but this is kind of an exception because I don't think that Cyndaquil is gonna do nice against Faulkner's team. So yeah. Actually, maybe guys, if you look at my channel, you're probably gonna know what my team is. And for the background, thanks to Vivek. Hope I say that right. <laughs> Cheers, mate, for the background. And he's prob and maybe he's gonna make me uh, walk through intro. So thanks man, I'm going to dedicate one Pokemon name to you, just like I did Cyndaquil with Leroy. The way you battle is quite elegant, you should be able to stand up to Faulkner. And you should be able to make good use of this. This technical machine is called Flash, take it with you. So this technical TM70 TM Flash, you can use it in the dark cave where we kind of didn't explore because my camera started messing up. Hope it won't happen again. Hey guys, I'm just gonna cut away to the dark cave and the route which we missed. Hey guys, I'm back here at the dark cave which we couldn't explore last time because my camera started messing up. So let's go inside. Oh, my camera actually likes this place. How convenient. Let's go up here. I actually know my way around this place, so nothing much to do here. We jump down here, there's a hidden Pokeball or potion. Yeah, it's a Pokemon. And right here, there's a potion in front of you. So, that's kind of all I want to... Whoa. A Geodude just had to interrupt me. That's all I actually want to show you, those two items. How pathetic, but oh well. 
Okay, in round 31, you come down here. There's a uh, apricorn, a green one, I believe. This guy I'm just can all say the same thing. Huh? Huh? I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, that'd be easy to catch. <laughs> yeah. Jump down here. There's a uh, potion, Pokeball, antidote, or something. Fuzz Buckers got four Caterpies or two Weedles or two Caterpies and let's go up here. Please no more Pokemon. Thank you. <laughs> when you go in here the first time, go in the middle. Now Lara's gonna stop you here. She's gonna talk something and give you the VS recorder, I believe. Yeah, and that's about it. Now this is Violet City! Man, yeah, last time I left the link below and the guy's called Primo in a Pokemon Center and the third Pokemon which you can hatch is a Wooper. Now, let's go into the gym. Well, those are the old layouts from the Gold Silver Crystal games. And if you see these paths, you can just easily walk up to the gym leader, but I'm not gonna do it. I just wanna train up my Pokemon. So let's start with this trainer. I'm just gonna cut him out because I don't wanna go over the time limit. Bird Keeper Abe, and he has a Spiro. And he's dead again. Not again, the first time. I didn't even kill him the first time. And almost a level up. Now let's go over here. Battle this guy. Got a big shot. We'll see. What happens if you get pushed around up here? Then you'll start and fall. No, you're actually gonna break your neck and break your bones and be paralyzed all your life and just be the retard <laughs> bird keeper rod i didn't know rods play pokemon they were supposed to be fishing rods to catch water type pokemon let's just kill this pidgey uh how will survive And we're up to level 13. And we want to learn Quick Attack. I'm just gonna learn this instead of Tackle. The new game is black and white. I wouldn't recommend on learning this if your Pokemon knows it, because Tackle is now 50% and 100% accuracy, so it's a, a, quite a good move. Same as some like Cud, obviously. So yeah, you can just use that. And it's burned, it's gonna get knocked out. Yeah, and it miss. How lucky is that? I didn't get almost an yeah, one tap from the earlier Fiji. And this is Faulkner. What I'm gonna do now is save my game if I screw up or something. I can just come back and stuff like that. And we're saved up. Now, let's talk to this guy. I'm Faulkner. I am Falk. I can't talk today. I'm Faulkner, the Wild City's gym leader. People can clip a fire type with the wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. I think my bird Pokemon would be better if I had some. As long as I don't, so he's the top notch here. So he starts out with a level 9 PG. The moves are in the description. Let's give it an ember. We'll do somewhere on half. Yeah, a little past. And sand attack, just to annoy me. If I miss, I'm gonna be mad. No, I'm not gonna get mad because I killed it easily. 
I'm gonna leave Cinequil in. If I get any problems, I'm gonna switch out to my Marie for my backup. Hopefully I won't. Oh yes, this Pokemon actually has Roost, Gust, Quick Attack, and I believe Sand Attack. So this is annoying to fight. It'll lower your accuracy. Yes, I was right, Tackle. It will use Roost to heal himself up. Don't care, don't care. Thank you. It's just annoying. I could try, but I'm afraid it will kill him. I'll probably use Roost, but I'm gonna be safe, so I'm gonna use a potion. Just so I know I won't get knocked out. And it's gonna probably use Roost or Tackle. Whoa. I could have died in that battle. I missed. No. Don't kill. Don't kill. Don't kill. Yes, thank you. That was easy. If I actually if I knew I was gonna be faster, I would have killed it right away. And we're up to level 14. And some of you probably know what's gonna happen after the battle. Yes, it's evolution time. Cinequil is evolving. Ah, oh, too bright for you guys. Yes, my Leroy evolved into a Kilava. Who know that Leroy can evolve from the awesome guy he is and turn evil into an even awesome fire type like Kilava? For Pete's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. But a defeat is a defeat. All right, take his official gym Pokemon League badge. This one's the Ziffer Badge, I believe is how you pronounce it. And we received the Ziffer Badge. One gym down, seven to go. Pokemon up to level 20 will obey me, it also enables you to hit him. Yes, and now I can use Rock Smash added badge. You saw that little rock which I showed the last part? Um, I'm gonna just go down and cut away and show you what's behind it. Oh yeah guys, when you walk out of the gym, this is Professor Elm. He's gonna call us, he wants us to, he entrusts us with the egg. So we kinda just waste our time and calls us. So Rock Smash, I'm gonna cut away this. We're back here, Route 32. If you talk to this guy, many people don't notice you can get Rock Smash right away. Some people think you need to get rid of that tree which is over there blocking the way to Akrantik City. Stop talking. This is the weird tree, we're gonna check that out later. I'm gonna cut away, again. Okay guys, you come into the Pokemart, have a free space, obviously you do. You talk to... Oh no, this is the guy who gives you berries, potions if you saved your money to your mom. Talk to this guy. And you get the egg again. Now you need to go around and we'll hatch into a Pokemon. Which one? We'll see. When it evolves, uh, hopefully it won't evolve or some hatch off screen or something. And the Kimono girl comes out. These are one of the girls who come... You know them stalkers around the games? Yeah, these are the ones. There are seven of them, you're gonna see them all later in the game. They're each gonna go for each one. Now, uh, I'm gonna teach someone Rock Smash. Okay guys, I caught a Raditz off screen. I'm gonna teach him Rock Smash. And then we, I'll show you the item and then we can s see something. Maybe if the time little allows. I've got only a few seconds left. Come on. Right at rocks now. Breaks the rocks. Wait. I found a blue shard. Wait up guys, I have only 10 seconds left. Right here in the trees middle you can find a hyper potion and I'll see you guys next time.